All right, both ammo cans have solar panels connected and charging at this time. The one on the left, 425 watts. The one on the right, 100 watts. The load is about 100 watts on the TV up there and soundbar. It is working beautifully, beautifully. You know, solar panels don't always put out their rated power. And I also have a 100 watt, or I'm sorry, a 300 watt inverter going on in there too. So more solar panel, more better. All right, so I went down to the local Army Navy surplus store and picked up another ammo can and modified it to handle a Tracer 20 amp MPPT solar charger and MT50 meter. So I'm going to take you through some still pictures here. Here's one thing I did is use these reducing washers on a 12 volt cigarette lighter. It amazes me how many people mess up a cigarette lighter and a 12 volt power socket. They're two different things. But you can use a cigarette lighter as a 12 volt power source. Also got a couple of SAE jacks for the back. Drilled some holes for ventilation to cool that MPPT solar charger which will be working its butt off with that 425 watt solar panel. Used all THHN rated wire. And here's something I came up with. I actually ended up drilling another big hole and adding screening on the bottom with magnets to hold it in place. This whole thing is designed for ease of maintenance. I can slide this battery in and out. Here's the underside. Keep the spiders out. This is a new idea. A 50 millimeter 12 volt fan connected to the load side of the solar charger. It's that Blue Sea Systems fuse block, 12 circuit, some foam padding around the battery, front and back side. And here's a picture of the back side of this unit with a grill on there. It's used a hole saw to cut right through that steel. And according to the MT50 meter, it uses about 200 milliamps. Well, I've got 525 watts in a solar panel attached to this 12 volt micro solar generator system down here. A little overkill, but I've got a 300 watt inverter going on too. The subwoofer, I replaced the woofer with a poly one out of my bookshelf speaker so it's better moisture protection. Fan is working. So much power I'm getting in. 142 watts. Sweet. Sling TV. <laughs> You know, every time I redo these ammo can solar generators, I learn something new and get better at doing them. So I'm just going to leave you with some greenery shots of my tiny suburbia slice of life back here. Really pretty last night. You know, then the dogs start barking, kids start playing and throwing stuff over the fence. You know, there's a lot of convenience with suburbia living, but uh, there's also some drawbacks too. All right, guys, hey, thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.